everyone, welcome back to In Out Delete, the show where we review movies of the month. <laughs> this is Gino. This is Gio. America. Ricardo. And Robert. I almost went back to the old script again. Jesus Christ. It's, it's our monthly movie roundup. Oh, I like that. Yeah. No, that's pretty nice. Say it fast. Say monthly it three times. movie roundup. No, or else he's going to appear. <laughs> monthly <laughs> movie <laughs> roundup. Monthly. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Monthly movie roundup. Oh, you three got times, it. Though. Monthy movie run up. Careful. Now do the careful one on one. Careful one on one. Careful one on one. I just won $500. <laughs> Dude, if you could get somebody to do it four times, have you ever we'll tr- give like, them like when a When listening like a free to that, ticket. have you ever tried it? They're like trying to see. I have. Yeah. Right, everybody's trying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, when you hear the commercial, you're like, careful one on one. I can do it. And you go like this. I'd be rolling up. You see the traffic stop in front of you. Oh, shit. Here's one of one. <laughs> Damn, dude, I missed this. It's been a minute. I've been very. I know who was in the last episode. I wasn't. Everybody in the last but Gio. Yeah. You were the only one. Gio took my spot. Mm-hmm. Hey, no wait. This is the first time we we're all together in a long time. When yeah. was? This? Oh, like two episodes ago, I think, or three, maybe. Yeah, that's like three months. Yeah, three I think months. I was out for the September. Or yes. August yeah. Episode. Yeah. 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 Cause I was in Nashville for that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Chasing we have a whole balls. new champion, huh? Since then. Uh, Ooh. Who is that? The noisy Jill? neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Guys, yeah, I was at that was at that uh, Western Conference game. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, pretty- mm, that's yeah. awesome though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I know we're gonna do. Um, was it October? Yeah, October. Yeah, October, right? But before we do that, can I? And I really feel bad about this because oh. I consider this person like, like my idol. I don't know, like my hero, you know, oh. in, in filmmaking, uh. you know. And when we did last month, we had a lot of movies, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I completely forgot that I watched the movie, mm. so I need to correct it now. <gasps> so we have a baby review. Sure, baby review. <laughs> baby, baby review. Because it doesn't officially fall in the month of. <clears throat> October. I saw this in September. Oh. And I didn't talk about it. Damn. And when I tell you what it is, you're gonna be like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" Though I'm pretty sure if I if it's what I think it might be, I don't think I've seen it. All right. So I saw during September Clerks Three. Yes, yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Oh, damn. yeah. At one of those, it didn't have like a full on um yeah, like regular release. release. Yeah. It had one of those like Fathom event releases. Oh, okay. And he's taking you know, Kevin Smith is taking it around the country. You yeah, because because he's touring it, right? <clears throat> yeah, he's touring it, but he also had the Fathom events, and that's what I went to, oh. right? Um, was he there? He did like an intro. He oh. wasn't. He wasn't physically yeah. there. There's uh, somewhere he. Did, that's why I said like they, he is touring. I think he toured it a little bit. There was somewhere I think they he did it with him there, and then the other ones I think like you said. We've seen him live too. already though. Yeah, yeah, but still, you know, like Kevin Smith is like one of my biggest inspirations. You know, yeah, and, you know the whole filmmaking thing, and of course I was gonna see this regardless, right? Yeah. Even though his last what ten movies have been <laughs> <laughs> everything past ten, yeah. everything past like uh, everything past anything. Clerks one, <laughs> um, but still, you know. Um, I was still willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and go watch it. Um, and I just can't believe I forgot, you know? Why? Because I'm actually getting in on this movie. What? Um, yeah, it's like, like I said, like his last, I don't know, what, seven movies or whatever yeah. Yeah, have been honestly really, really bad, you know? Tusk is one and one. even like... <laughs> Even like the last one, Hater. the Jay inside the Bob, where he like the reboot. Oh, I hate that. Where movie he so went, I like he, he used a lot of nostalgia. You <laughs> yeah. know, he I went back, it. back into his bag. I liked like that too. <laughs> like it wasn't. I thought it was okay. Yeah. But it fell more into like his newer movies mm-hmm. than his like classic where one. Where is it? Like he goes the more wacky, crazy. Not out just there. it's like everything's there, like on mm-hmm. paper, but it's just missing something. It's missing that. That energy that he first had, you know? Okay. Uh, so I was kind of expecting that. I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to watch this. Probably get a few laughs, but whatever, you know? And honestly, what I ended up seeing was something actually pretty good. Something <laughs> that falls in more with his old, uh, his older movies. Right. Yeah, um, like this one was based off of what he, ha- what happened. And yeah. So he had a heart movie. attack. So like and he, he had that more emotional He wrote it into to the this. script and, you know, you know, for better or worse, he's kind of like, defined by this movie and these characters Mm -hmm. so for him to go back and kind of like close the you know the 
the series. Yeah, with this one. And the way he did it, you know, whereas in he's kind of retelling his life through mm-hmm. these characters. It's very meta. Very, very, well, very meta. I mean, from the beginning, but... that's always been it's always been like yeah. that. Like he was So he's already meta and this yeah. is like meta, 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 meta. Yeah. You know, it's like I don't even know how many layers there are in this. But honestly, it, it was really good. Like I thought it was really good. Like I honestly was like in tears. Like I was crying <laughs> at how like sentimental it was and how like how touching the story was. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was like, damn, I can't believe I didn't talk about it, you know? Yeah, yeah so I, I think forget. <laughs> But that being said, this movie is very the enjoyment you might get out of it is very dependent on how well you know Can't not say. only all of his movies. But all the podcasts, all oh. the er, literally everything. He calls in every every favorite. every little thing, you know. So if you don't know a lot of those things, you might be like, "What is this?" You know. Okay. But if you've been there from the beginning, you've seen them all. You've seen them all. It's gonna hit. Okay. It's gonna hit you. Oh, well, the... that's a lot of his movies tend to kind of skew that way. Yeah. Or view skew that way. Because like, oh, hey, oh, yeah. oh, nice. Like I knew. <laughs> <laughs> like I knew. <laughs> I knew going in, we were gonna get a bunch of dick jokes and all yeah. that stuff. And it's funny now. It's like this is not as funny as it, it was when I was like, you know, fifteen. It, you know. And yeah, he's still doing them. You know. But still, I think he earned it in this story with the story that he told. Yeah, especially he since this story wasn't like almost wasn't told. Yeah, because uh, the guy that played Randall, he just didn't want like mm-hmm. he wasn't. Yeah, he had scrapped it because they yeah. were on bad terms. Because I think uh, Jane Silent Bob reboot what's supposed to be Clerks yeah. Three. So and then he reworked it and yeah. then made that. So I think this movie yeah. does what Jane Silent Bob reboot was trying to do. Yeah, well, that's like why it wraps it, everything yeah. up. It sequelizes everything. Mm-hmm. It make it makes you actually feel because I think you know Jane Silent Bob was being like anchored by what's his face, Jay Muse, mm-hmm. and he's not that good of an actor. Yeah, <laughs> it's the meth so, mouth, man. It's the meth yeah, mouth. Yeah. So this one to actually, and I know the guys that play the clerks aren't like full on actors, but they do better with these roles, yeah. and you know, and, yeah. Um, well, it's there. It's it's kind of them. Like yeah. they, they're the ones that form these characters. So the I think if you're a Kevin Smith fan like me, who's been there every step of the way, you're gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of this. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend it. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Well, now that being said, you saw it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I like I like uh, what you said. So you know how like the friends? Uh-huh. She's, so let's let's get America's point of view first. Oh, oh, she's yeah, one of not, those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, because I don't. You're like more of a French I don't fan. Suck up everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I liked it. Oh. I thought it was fun, and it was sad. I yeah. was sad at the end. Don't tell me that. I'm, I'm I not... was sad. Like what? Why? So you. Um, so it was emotional. Yeah. Are you? I'm in. Oh. Yeah. Nice. I mean, it started with My Chemical Romance. Like, oh, yeah. That was nice. Not <laughs> yeah. I was no, like, that, what is this? That threw me off. I thought, yeah. because we missed it in theaters. I guess it was only here one day. Two days. And yeah, it was yeah. so we, annoying, dude. like, mm-hmm. missed it. Completely missed it. We saw, like, it was still up. The little advertisement was up. And we're like, wait, when did this get here? And it was just like, oh, like, yesterday or something. Um, so we watched, we streamed it. And it started like that. I was like, are we watching some like bootleg shit? Like, this is, <laughs> yeah. What is this? It does kind of feel like that. Yeah. Um, at first I was kind of like, okay, like, we've seen your movie. You don't have yeah. to do it again. <laughs> yeah. But it grew on me. And uh, I thought it was really good and really nice. sad. So, yeah. Yes. I am uh, in as well. Yes. It, it, all the feelings are there. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're a fan, I'm pretty sure you guys are fans. You yeah. guys are going to understand everything. Yes, I've, pay, I've paid to see literally everything. Before, yeah. yeah, everything. You, the literally, little, the, all the cameos. Yeah. Not everything, there. but yeah. And no, literally, like like what you said, podcast. Because mm-hmm. he describes his his heart attack. Yeah, he, that literally mm-hmm. happens in exactly that, exactly the same. Yeah. Word by word, so scary. literally. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's um it's a it, it, when you were saying with the reboot, I think it's um the reboot that uh, Jane Silent Bob reboot is mm-hmm. all the the. The wacky movies that he has, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I'm one, and then this one is the serious ones. Mm-hmm. So it's like I don't know how to explain it, but he he knows how to write those two, you know? Okay. Well, <laughs> like Tracy Amy's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. So um, I guess he he like went back to this, and I, I I'm good. with it. The only thing though, it like it, it gets really like raw. Or, I don't know how to explain it, like um uh, without spoiling a lot. But it gets it, heavy. It does. It gets heavy. And I was okay. so fucking like. Whoa, he went there, yeah. there? It kind of got me. I was I, like, I, it got me too. I wasn't expecting <laughs> yeah. I think that's the reason that it worked. 
Because without that heaviness and the actual message, like he literally is just retelling dick jokes. The, yeah. yeah, in the movie yeah. that we've seen and, already. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah. the best part is that it it like I don't know, I don't even know how to say it without spoiling it, but it's more of a like oh like his I don't, I don't even it's know just how to him say it without in the saying. mirror, I think, and being like No, 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 but like that whole ending is just more of a <laughs> I'm so ready. I, I'm ready. You know, like to, to like die? for the next for the next. Oh. No, it's just chapter. it's just it's kind of like a red. Like I said, it, it's better when, than what Jane Silent Bob was trying to do mm-hmm. because it's like a retrospective on his career. You know, mm-hmm. he's tried to do other things and a lot of it hasn't worked right. Yeah. So for better or worse, he's always going to be defined by these characters in yeah. these Forever. movies, yes. right? Yeah. And the fact that he's able to go back and not just like, you know phone it in you know to really close you know to really bring it to an end a nice earned ending it's really touching like it, you wouldn't expect it from a movie about two dudes working at a fucking convenience, convenience store. store you know you go it makes you go like wow you know he really he is really able to tell a great story but it has to come from him when he's tried to go out and do like Jersey yeah. Girl or fucking Cop yeah. Out. Yeah. Like that's when it doesn't work. Yeah, when he does right? the studio it's system, he it's can. when he's uh-huh. being super personal is when it really works. And yeah. this one, like I said, if you've been there from the beginning, it really makes you feel because like you've been there from the start, you know. And it's like it's like a nice little gift for you. Yeah, you and know, it's like it's like a thank thank you for being here all these years. You know, and, and the here's same, a great story. The same thing with the Jay guy. You know how like Jay sucks at acting, yeah. and these guys are like nobody's too, right? Like yeah, yeah, and, and and they're really good. So like they could like pull these like mo- monologues, you know? Okay, yeah. So it's it's it's, it's a. It gets there. So that fan service <laughs> you guys are talking about is it oh, better? Is, is it better than how fast did when Brian when uh, Paul Walker died? <laughs> 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 in past seven and i cried in that too i did too that's yeah. what i'm asking motherfuckers i would say it's, it, it, it hits the same okay probably a little bit more than this so. you're my brother too <laughs> <laughs> i can't do the song right but, but it, was, it was it was cool good that's good good um, little watch i'm trying down to watch it yeah i but, recommend it but i uh, yeah like and don't forget it like i do yeah uh-huh. yeah yeah and that's another thing too because i would recommend it to you guys yes oh, yeah. and exactly. i was trying to recommend it to other people but it's the same thing like you said it's uh-huh. like for like the fans yeah yeah because yeah, like i did see that it like the it was getting like a limited release and it was only like two days or whatever mm-hmm. and i couldn't do it those two days so i have to i'm gonna have so to annoying, it online too. some yeah. asshole on tiktok kind of spoiled it for me so whatever uh, i'm ready for it though i don't care i'll still watch, watch it as it. is yeah, yeah i'll still watch it it's fun. Yeah. As on TikTok's like, nah, bro. It's like that one doing the thank background. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me on this because after this, I pretty much watched no <laughs> movies. So I'm going to just fade into the background for the rest of the episode. Oh my God. So that was Baby Review. 12. Baby, Baby Review. So let's move on to the actual month of the month where we're going to talk about October. But I want to start, Ooh. and I hope the, your first movie is the, what, what I'm thinking. You because we've been right waiting, now? we've been waiting for your thought oh. of this movie. Well, you really want to do this now? Yes. You want to save, save it? it? Why are we going to save it? Because it's the only it's the movie. Only thing I, talk about. <laughs> I guess fine. Because I watched it last night actually on on Peacock. That's all. Then we're... let's save it since it's the only one that okay. we watched. All right, oh, you watched another one? Yeah, let me start all over no, then. Yeah. No, 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 we could keep this. Keep yeah, it. Let's all right. Keep well it. Then, all right, then, who has a movie for October? Wait, wait, you, you haven't watched anything else. Okay, you know what? Fuck, I'm going to start this one. I saw Hellraiser oh, from Hulu. Oh, my God. I sat and watched this. What the, that's movie. the one with the girl Hellraiser. Yes. Huh? I, that, 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 that's what got my attention because I was yeah. like, okay, cool. Gen- gentrify that shit. You know, fuck it. Swap genders. You know, make it a girl now. It's not gentrify. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm using, <laughs> it's like the white people movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um, you, you know what? It's like that gender movie. Swap. That would be like gender Candyman. No. <laughs> they made it a white dude. <laughs> now, you know, it's like that movie, uh, Princess Bride. Like, you're not using the word you think you're using. Inconceivable. <laughs> yeah. I'm, that's, that's my moment right now. Okay. But yes, they swapped the genders. Because I was like, that got my attention. I was like, okay, cool. Female Hellraiser? Why not? Let's fucking do this. Uh, female Pinhead? Yes. Let me start by saying I'm a delete. Ooh. Of course. Deleted. Let's be real. I, before I continue, do you guys have seen this movie at least? Have you guys watched it? I've never seen it. Hellraiser. Movie? Not even the original? No. You, I think you'd love the original. Like, no, it's... but I don't like I don't like Clive Barker. Really? Yeah. I've never been a fan. Though, I'm surprised because that one's, that one's kind of technical. I know. Like, the first one is like supposed to be like the best a one? classic. Yeah, yeah it, it is. I know. I've just never seen it. Damn, I wonder why I saw so much in- anger on that. <laughs> Let's not I talk about it. Clive <laughs> I know. What did he do to you? Yeah. <laughs> or did he touch you? <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood. Um, basically, 
at first the way it starts too like there it's like a party and then like this guy like wanders in this room with all these other puzzle boxes and it's like the, oh the mystery of these boxes and then like i don't know long story short he fucks with one and then that's when the, the same monsters, story as the yeah, original one no the original was more deeper like about like the guy was like this he found it then he became trapped inside and he got out and then like he tore he killed his you know this whole thing he killed his brother he took his body basically whatever so basically this whole thing was with this girl like she's like a crackhead apparently and like her brother is trying oh, to adult mm, story yeah, yeah like her brother her brother is trying to like to save her like stop doing drugs and you know whatever and then like she gets on so she has this like this boyfriend it's like i, I know where to get money so we get out of here but this is safe and they go to the safe and it's this little tiny puzzle box and she's like what is this and she fucks with it and all these fuckers come around and starts killing her friends and family one by one of course because like she fucked with the box but this whole thing was like in the background they brought this whole random dude you see him in the beginning of the movie like he's I saw that much and then I was out I'm, that's, <laughs> oh. that, you know what's funny Michelle was the exact same thing she's like I'm done walks away Cause just was, because when you stupid, say stupid, like or... they're killing people, is it the pinhead? Yeah, basically? pinhead, yeah. and it's like montage. That's why I call them. It's an entourage. Yeah. Monsterage. <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. The monsterage they just come in and like we want to eat us all, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's, it's weird. It's very. They're trying to make it weird, like the original, and mm-hmm. but the originals does a way better job. These dudes are just boring, and they're like not scary to me. Like you want to feel lust and then it's, like, it's, like, it's supposed to like make it's it's movie made for people who like seeing torture and and get uh, chained. Mm-hmm. It's like those type of things. I was turned right? on. That's you were turned on. Were they naked? And the, no, no, but like what? they do like Boo. like you see the needles go in their skin yeah, and no, pulls no, and then like no. it's like the and then you see a guy in the back touching his nipples like oh <laughs> no, no. it's just your I'm reflection when the screen goes dark. <laughs> you know what? I was that ready for that return. That was good. That's that rare uh, America snipe, right there. <laughs> all, all I know is this guy was so obsessed with these whole boxes, he became like a a, a part of that because they. They um they they go by what you like lust for basically, mm. and so he wanted like, you. yes for me it'd be like a giant donut yes and yeah. so he'll put so so that donut so basically what they do with that donut they make you you know up your ass and it expands your oh. butthole like yeah it's and a, like spikes come out of it yeah oh, shit. yeah that's that's their and shit they, they keep you alive. is that what Hellraiser is Sprinkles? yeah is that what he does yeah oh shit I don't know it's that. like they uh, they I guess they turn your your favorite thing into your worst nightmare. Yes. Oh, okay. And so, yeah. so, yeah. so basically that dude became some sort of like walking, like, like toy where you wind it and oh. you just see how his nerves like wrapped up in this weird Ugh. spot. Yeah. It's fucking creepy. And I, and it's funny cause that's where, that's their selling point. Like this is, this is horror, gory. And I'm yeah. all like, this is terrible. <laughs> the story does not help. And that's your selling point. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That was yeah. their selling about the whole fucking movie. Like yeah. the way the people were getting tortured or whatever. It was just, it was just like terrible. Torture porn. Yeah. No, but it wasn't good though. It wasn't good. Have any porn. substance. Mm-hmm. It was just all, it was just bad sugar. all around. Like, like I now know why it was on Hulu, not in theaters. Cause there's no, nobody Wait, so why it. is it a lady Hellraiser now? And there, there was no explanation. explanation. So she's just, be, she's the new pinhead, basically. It's like can qualify for the Oscars. Ah, mm-hmm. makes sense. For mid of action. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, Ricardo, go for it, man. Box. Um, I think I'm gonna delete too. I, I didn't Deleted. know that. I thought it was just like um, pinhead. That's his name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was just oh, you're my servant, like the girl. Like it wasn't like I thought. I didn't know Not that a was a direct reboot. Yes, yeah, I like, agree. I didn't know it was a. Like she was actually the pinhead guy, or I didn't get it. I still thought it was interesting, but yeah. again, yeah, I agree. But uh, uh it was all whack. It, and like uh, the kills, they didn't even have like real kills. I think right. It was not even real kills. They, like, exactly. Oh, like you're next. They get you, and then you disappear, and like girl, yeah. girl, girl, huh? Being like, oh, I'm in crack. I'm in crack. Yeah, yeah. it was fucked up. <laughs> and and this is oh, riveting. Dude, <laughs> and the, the character is so annoying, right? Yeah, dude, the character is like her decisions were terrible throughout the whole I hate movie. That she they did still not make d- movies like that. Yeah, dude. it's like it's she like, she's trying to like justify her actions, but it's like no, you're just stupid. Like, just yeah. stop what you're doing. It's the that. That, that simple just stop what you're doing just stop what you're <laughs> and doing then, and fucking you can't no we gotta do this it's fucking stupid so um the only thing i would say though is that maybe there's a chance that if we watched it in theaters 
I might have been like an out. Nah, dude. Why? Nah, because dude. Cause you're at home and you're kind of like. Oh, it's I mean, easier to yeah, kind of drift away. Drift away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because in theaters, you're stuck there. You and then, have to pay attention. And then, the, okay. yeah, maybe we. You, you didn't you hear know, something, you know? Like, you, know you're, you know, you're right. Because I did got to make myself dinner while the movie's playing touch in the background. Nipples. Touch my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> this is very nice. Michelle's like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Don't Don't you me out. Out. <laughs> <laughs> You know what you signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me the butter. <laughs> Unsalted. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. must be really bad. Yeah, I'm telling you. I think because of that, like I was watching during the day too. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> it on. wasn't even like come on. It was, so, it was like a Sunday morning. Or yeah, morning. so it's it's that made it maybe made it worse. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, our, that's our new song for this episode. <laughs> Michelle takes credit for that. She's the one who's been like, "You need to play this song because no one's. <laughs> no, why would you guys put Adele? I'm like, because I like that song too. Okay, I got, I got another one. I right, go for what? Uh, the next one. It's as bad as this one. Oh, <laughs> sing it, sing it, sing it. Oh, let's go. Uh, Jeepers Creepers. Oh, they did it. They did it again. Saw this? I saw it. Is this a sequel wow. or a reboot? Uh, or somewhere re- between. I shit. It might have been in between. No, I think Dude, it's like a reboot. A have you heard about? Maybe I'll say it after. Cause sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one is crazy enough. Worse than that one. <gasps> oh, delete on this one. Deleted. Yeah, this one is like like you know what America was saying like a Hallmark movie. No, this one is <laughs> legit bad. Like everything all this around. Is that, this is one of them PBS ones. Production <laughs> wise too. Production wise too. Everything was just like terrible. They had montages that were terrible. Oh. Like I was like like when is this movie? Oh my god, it's 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 terrible. And I, you know the story is the same thing. You know, like they go to the where are they at? <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> I don't know. They, oh, fuck nowhere. I don't know. I don't know. You know, like when they're driving, and then. But I think like I, if I could remember something. Yeah, yeah. And then I think if I could remember this clearly, they go to like a maze. There's like a specific maze they want to oh. go to. Like these couple, they're all into this shit. And then when they get there, they're like, "Oh, you should go to this house where we see the guy or whatever that monster." And Deeper. Then, yeah, and then they so find out. Jeepers. They find out that Mr. Jeeper is. <laughs> is Jeeper looking, from Jeeper's he, Creepers. Um, he's getting. He's getting fed these people. Oh, like so, like someone is controlling is them him. to tell them, like, "Hey, come, like, bring them here," and then they get mm. fed. Oh. You know. Okay, right, so or Jeeper's Mr. Just gives Mr. you a plate. Gets, he gives you a plate. No, no, no. The people no. from the maze takes yeah. you there. Oh, they, 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 they bring get, you as an offering. You're the yeah. offering yeah. to Jeeper. Okay, so, they don't, so they don't get eaten. Good yeah, question. Because the original movie. Has this dude only wakes up like once every like 30 years. Yeah, exactly. So, and the first two movies take place on the same night. Mm. Right. First two movie, oh, okay. yeah. Oh, is then, this tied to that? Or is this no, new? no, no. This is brand new. He just woke up. Okay. So then they know like he's awake. So then they have to go and fucking <laughs> Jeeper. No, they have to feed him because if not, if not Mr. Jeeper is going to eat Mr. the other Creepers, people. Are right? you hungry, sir? Yeah. So they have to feed him. And, and, and it becomes so silly. Like. I guess because I don't re- if I can remember the Justin Long one, did they have like something to do with the music? Jeepers, no. yeah, that one. Yeah, basically, you if you, those eyes? Yeah, 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 if you yeah. hear that song, he's nearby. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Is in that, that what happened? In yeah. this uh, one, uh, he puts it and he's like dancing and shit. I was oh, like no. tripping. No, I, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't oh, know if he's serial. dancing. <laughs> that's a serial killer stuff right there. <laughs> yeah, doesn't sound that give us that phenomenon. No, but he or does. He does feel. put it like himself. Like it's. He's like a does person. Does he have a montage too? Nah. He's a monster, no? Yeah. And yeah, well, he kind is. of, but he wears the, the clothes, right? Yeah. The, the fedora and the jacket still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but it, it just gets so whack. And then, like, he he, like, oh, he doesn't song, die. Right? He does die. And then you get the, oh, my God. Remember I was showing you? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh, I had to run and tell her, like, <laughs> check out this. Because remember when they get to the house, the Jeepers Creepers house? Yeah. <laughs> All the fucking CGI is there. Oh. And it's so bad. That's where they blew their budget? Like, yeah, it's just like, here, us, we're in that house right now. And everything is fake, <laughs> oh dude. Oh, my God. Everything, the green screen. Remember even the cops show up? And then it looks all computer <laughs> It's so bad. I was like, this is a real movie, dude. I can't believe it. But I guess it's not because I don't know where Just it's not. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where you could find it. I found it in the streaming service. This and was another Fathom event, I believe. Like oh really? Yeah. Oh man, wow. it's bad at, at 
it's bad. So if you guys want to watch something bad and laugh, it's it's pretty like you could laugh. I think. Uh, we watched Terrifier too. What is that? Oh, this movie. Yeah, oh, I about heard about the this. spooky clown. Yeah, this yes. is the one that was so, making everybody puke in theaters. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I, I've seen this clown around social media, like just in the years previous. And mm-hmm. I thought it was like a cult classic or something. I thought it was old. Mm-hmm. I thought like, oh, like they're remaking or there's a sequel or something. Um, and I'd never seen, Part I guess one? there's two more. <laughs> really? There's the Terrifier. Short film? Oh. Yeah. And then there's the, the first feature film. Yeah. I'd mm, never seen one. anything, and um, it was just like a random <coughs> Tuesday or something. We're like, let's go to the movies, and that was on. And I was like, oh my god, two and a half hours! Like this is trash. Yeah, I was like, this shit is gonna suck. And then it starts with like, um, a, like it was like a quote, you know, like you re- you look at the back of a book, and it's like mm. L.A. Times, like the best book I've oh. read all year. Uh, and I was like, if a movie starts movie like that, you know it's trash. That? Yeah, but it turns out it was a trailer. For oh. another movie, <laughs> oh, it's kind of like yeah, I don't know what yeah, movie we watched, and there was like a, a Nolan trailer or oh, something yeah, in no, front of it. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And we're like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, yeah it was one of those. But um, so it starts, and it's like not great, but it's not bad. Mm-hmm. And it was also like so gory, like that's whoa, whoa, well, whoa, that's whoa. what everybody was kind of drawn to because the like it's supposed to be more gory. Than yeah, anything. no, it is just blood. It's just like yeah. a fountain of blood for two and a half hours, and I'm honestly like kind of glad about it because it was like the story. What's the story? So it's like the one year anniversary of a a woman's death. What? No, right? the, the death of, that he kills. He killed like nine people or something. I yeah, he's like a serial one. killer, right? And so like th- this kid is obsessed with it. And um, they're like, no, it's the anniversary of like his killings or whatever. Like, why would you dress up as him for Halloween? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then <coughs> I don't know. It's a weird story, but it's kind of fun. It's very cheesy, though. But oh. I liked it. I'm in. I'm very surprised by that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a gory person, and I'm not a horror person, and it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys watch it? No. No. Obviously, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm an in on this one. It was really, really fun. I think you guys should watch it. It's like a ah, man. I don't know if you're gonna. Nah, you. Yeah, even at home, you'll watch. You'll have a good time. Okay. In theaters, though, it's really funny. Like everybody's like, oh. Yeah. oh you could hear them you know but um <laughs> that's them puking <laughs> like it's it's a trip you know but and you could you could hear everybody not not like puke or whatever but they all they're, laughed at like this cra- yeah, yeah they all reacted to this like nastiness that they're showing and it's mm-hmm. i think that that's are really really fun because it's not cgi it's nothing like mm-hmm. that oh yeah it's all you know, practical practical mm-hmm. and uh, that's I, I that's the best kind you know mm-hmm. so the story is a little it's light on the story, but there's enough of it to carry you. Yes, through. yes, because uh, the it's just the return of the clown. I guess mm-hmm. he just came back. I don't. He didn't die in the first one. I guess, and he comes back, and then he goes and does his killing. But some of the times that you're 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 like it's one of those like he's not gonna bother you, and then they bother him, so then he kills you because you're bothering him. You know, <laughs> it's like that. That's not exactly it. He kind of like picks his victims. No, like the, the, the guy is it, in the store. Is it a human the being? The laundry guy. Yeah, like what did he do? Well, yes and no. He is. He's a terrifier. Yeah. Well, he's like human, <laughs> yeah. but he's not. He like... <laughs> hey, do I, get a little I got nothing, man. I got nothing. <laughs> Give yourself a D. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I think he's a really cool character, too. I don't mm. think he's like annoying or anything. And then he has a daughter, right? It's or like something? a daughter or a sister or something. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, so I, like I guess a he, sidekick. nobody could see him. But this kid, right, at, at a point. Uh-huh. But I don't know. It's fine. It's first-time actors, probably. These yeah, people it is. Are acting. Uh-huh. Isn't Chris Jericho in this? Yeah. He comes he out. I Chris was into Jericho. that. <laughs> I was looking he, at the he, credits, and it says Chris Jericho. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, he's in the I picked the right movie. Um, and the music's fun. You know, mm-hmm. I, I really enjoy the music. So, um, fun watch. Watch did it, it with the show. Did it make you go back and watch Terrifier 1? Yeah. Yes, it did. Mm-hmm. And it's on like Tubi or something. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, and then Terrifier 1 is not, not bad either. It's actually pretty cool. This Dude, movie? I free? remember it's... when the first one came out, it kind of gained cult status pretty quickly. Mm. So I, remember I would tell people, oh, yeah, I like horror movies. Like, Have you seen Terrifier? I'm Dude, like, it, it was, like, it, Terrifier was made on like <laughs> iMovie exactly or like something. <laughs> Dude, this movie yeah. was like, bang. It's like some really? some, yeah. some yeah. girl, like some dude with like long hair. Like, Have you seen Terrifier, bro? I was like, no. <laughs> Leave um, me alone, huh? So it's been like, and I remember when this one came out, you know, and then it it actually like, you know, gained popularity through mm-hmm. a couple of months that it was out, and I was like, oh shit! And then I saw the news articles and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think if I wasn't so busy, I probably would have gone because I think that's the fun of it, right? The culty mm-hmm. status of yeah. people like, you know, going seeking it out, you know, actually making the effort mm-hmm. to go to the movies. Like that's yeah. pretty rare these that's, days, yeah. you know. Cool. And it's funny because I, I went in there like talking shit, you know, like <laughs> I was ready because like what are what else am I gonna do? It's a fucking yeah. Tuesday, like nothing else is on, like whatever. <clears throat> but I actually we came out, we were just talking about it all the way home. It's like a thirty minute walk, and I was like, <laughs> that was pretty good. Like yeah, and then um we watched the first one right, and you could tell how like low budget this one is. It's literally like probably a like. It was a per- it's us, uh-huh, you know. Like, we're using this apartment and a chainsaw. The and coloring is like, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, it's like well, it's, it's, um, it's terrible. It was done on iMovie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like not good color yeah. either. Amateur. Yeah, yeah, but it, it 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 I guess grew grew um yeah maybe crazy. Cool. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy that they got like funding to because do this. Because this one did have money and mm, it's like barely, oh, really, barely. Well, I mean, relatively budget? speaking. Yeah. Relatively yeah. speaking, yeah. let's say yes, because this movie. The bu- like supposed budget was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. God damn! That's right? really but low you budget. Can probably Box do... office, ten point six million. Wow! So, wow, yeah. wow! Talk wow, about wow, a return wow. on investment. It was like the hit of the wow. like last month. It, it it made it. Now it's gonna have another. Now it's gonna be great. Oh, yeah. oh, oh man! You're gonna do it's a so at, at Horror Nights. You're gonna love it, Get Robert. I think because you're like that gory person. Uh, am I? When? Yes, because like, okay, we talk about like fucking Tarantino, that last movie he did. And yeah. I'm like, oh, why is there all this gushing and nastiness at the end? Right. And you're like, that's what we're here for. Yeah. You know, how- uh, but to me, I've always said, look, I don't mind seeing people get killed. Like I'll watch it all day. Right. But there has to be something, even a little bit. And from what you're saying, it's there, right? Yeah. There has to be something there, right? Like, just, I don't like, like, the hostile movies. Remember, like, no, the it, Saw it, it's movies. Not just, like, I hate it, though. It's not just tear off a yeah. finger just to see what happens. Okay. No. As long as it's not that, then I'm fully on board. Yeah. There's yeah. more to it, like, in the story. But um, if you really, really get into it, it's, like, it's a, it, it's kind of corny, you know? It's very corny. Yeah. But, but it's fine, fine. <laughs> Like just watch the the fun part. It sounds like it it managed. It's like it was in the amateurs, you know, and it's mm-hmm. like a minor leaguer that's pretty good, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's not like Pearl or anything, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say because you know, like yeah, but it's not in that league yet. No, I guess because they have to keep this character going, right? So yeah, they, they just mess bro, with this character. but bro. It, it's a good watch. Check it out. I believe Michelle, you because you know we'll have fun with it. <laughs> I believe you because we're looking. I mean, I'm with Gio on, on his little corner of, of uh, fact corner, of facts corner. Oh, I love the fact corner. You know yeah. what, what the budget was for the first movie? How you facts. guys are talking about? It's like edited through iMovie. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. Thirty-five thousand. Triple say triple wow. that. Holy shit! And that for sure got money back for sure on that one too. Since yeah. now the and a lot of that money came from uh, crowdfunding. They went on indie. indie yeah, Go-Go. yeah. See, that's wow. what I was gonna say. Wow. Yeah. But you could tell if you watch it. You could tell the the. The um, I guess, low budgetness. It's of it. cool. the The actress was really good. From the, the new second one. one. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's I mean, cool. a little kid. I mean, they're all very like you know. It's, the little it's, kid is so funny. You can though. tell that this is their first thing or whatever, but they're pretty good because you're with them like most of the movie, and. Ah, uh-huh, because that's what job. I was gonna say. Because in this one, they have a story with them, right? Yes. This movie was also crowdfunded. No shit. Oh but I guess God. because a lot of people like the first one, mm. they and Jericho gave him money That's probably, crazy. right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> but um, well, he I, I guess he launched the the India Gogo to uh, with the 50 k goal to finance you know practical effects and stuff uh, for some of the scenes. Uh, the crazy. campaign was did so well. Uh, they did over one twenty five. In the first week. Wow. And then they reached 250. Damn. The little horror movie that could. Yeah, that's fun, right? This yeah. is like the, the Reservoir Dogs for this director right here. 
That's you badass. Know, well, I, I think because I've seen um, there's more. There's like a, what do you call it? Before this movie, there was other ones mm-hmm. with that same clown. Mm-hmm. So I guess it's. Oh, yeah, okay. There's, uh, I was seeing right now. I think there's <clears throat> the Terrifier Cinematic Universe. <laughs> well, I this one is I, I kind of like a retelling. Clown, yeah. <clears throat> this one's kind of a retelling of the first one, a, a little chunk of the first one. Oh, so it's like so, Evil Dead. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That kind of sounds like that. uh, The Evil Dead, the first one was done kind of like DIY, Mm -hmm. and then it was such a big hit that they essentially made a part two. But it's kind of a remake with like a budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also like uh, and mariachi and and that's that's right. Yeah, Uh it was just like. Yeah. It's like, oh, I have money to polish this yeah. and make it even better. Kind of, but I, like, that's why I said that this one has a story with, with the main characters. And in the uh, original one, it's just like legit. It's kind of just, there's a serial killer. Yeah, like you're in the wrong mm-hmm. place in the wrong time. So, so Art no the Clown story. appeared in uh, in the short film first. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and now it's time for Geo's Fun Fact Corner. So yeah, so Art the Clown, which is the main antagonist of, I guess, these movies. Uh, so he first appeared in a short film, and then came out in uh, can remember, in the anthology All Hallows Eve in 2013. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess he was played by somebody else. And then uh, he appeared in Terrifier, and then Terrifier 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that one, though. So this is his fourth appearance. It seems like it, yeah. Okay. Is that it? I think the short film was called. <laughs> I think the short film was called the ninth, uh, the ninth uh, circle. So there you go. Good oh. thing they changed it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. yeah. I guess there's also a comic book that does a retelling of the 2016 story. Wow. So oh, there you wow. go. If you want more Terrifier, uh, Art the Clown from Terrifier, there you go. The Hall- Hall- Hallows Eve is like a. Uh, it's three stories. Yeah, so that's yeah. why it's an anthology. Yeah, okay. That's there. what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear you say that at all. <laughs> all I know is Terrifier is on free with ads in Amazon Prime, so I'm watching that shit tonight. It's gone Tubi. I'm watching it on Amazon Prime. <laughs> oh, it's on I think, doesn't yeah. Tubi also have ads? Sometimes, yeah. Mm. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know. I thought they were all the same. So. And that was Geo's Fun Fact Corner. And if you go, you know, you go to a maze like in Hall- Halloween, like to a room and someone's like dead or nasty that's what you see in this movie mm. so like a maze in the movie it's pretty fun the next one, to the next. The next one was <laughs> ticket to paradise oh. Oh. what is that i should have queued up it's i got a, two tickets george to clooney paradise. and uh, julia roberts or what's her name yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, I think I do have one other one. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Wait, the divorced parents, the girl. Yeah. Ah, no, divorced parents have to come together to uh, convince their daughter, their daughter who just graduated law school, to not marry some guy she met in fucking Bali or something. Mm. That old story, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's that always a white story. girl. It's always a white girl that does this shit. Yeah, you know, you don't do this. You Latina I mean, doing those are shit. some white girl activities. Because <laughs> yeah, they're already knocked Cause up, they, bro. Because <laughs> they can go to Bali. I know, they didn't even this make it to grad school. Fuck, <laughs> dog. They didn't even make it to grad night. Oh, 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 <laughs> well, uh, we're she can't get on the Disneyland ride. <laughs> oh, the only way she can get on Small World. She's eating a churro for two. Yeah, yeah. That's sad. Dude. Oh, on the chicken leg. Don't forget the chicken leg. Yeah, the turkey, turkey leg. leg. Turkey leg. Um, <laughs> eating the churro for two. It was. It seemed. Uh, how long is this? Oh, it sounds long. <laughs> it yeah, it does. It's right? two and a half hours. It's, it's I think top. it is. I think it's like two. It says it on top? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, an hour 44. I put it for oh, like two and a half nice. hours. It did. It felt longer than Terrifier, I think. Um, I don't know why I should have to give this a rating. It's... Oh, man. By the end of the movie, I forgot what happened. <laughs> <laughs> like in the entire middle of the movie, yeah. Yes. It was just... There's nothing memorable about it. Um, the story is just like super rushed. Right, mm-hmm. so they get to Bali, and then she's fucking in love with this guy who rescues them or something, and there's no chemistry there, so it's not like, oh yeah, I want to see them fall in love. <laughs> like, no, nothing. Uh, George Clooney and what's her face? Julia Roberts. Like, mm. Big I think, forehead. 
God damn. <laughs> she just I, it feels yeah. like George Clooney may like or he was like, Hey, how about like I just talk for five minutes? And we pause the movie and we just talk. I don't even know. You did it last time. I forgot. I don't know. But <laughs> it's kinda it's kinda like the movie pauses and he it's like your father talks to you for like oh you know like you have to think about your Remember future or like something this? He's like what's and wrong then, with his neck yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then we get on with the movie and that happens multiple times and it's just like yeah this this movie got I, like I didn't watch it but like this thing got like oh my god it's Julia Roberts and George Clooney on screen again yeah and it's, it's like it's oceans. like a throwback to the old days of like movie stars and stuff yeah. mm-hmm. um did I actually kind of wanted to watch this movie I did too <laughs> I thought like it might be funny. Delete? You know, she didn't want to delete i guess deleted because it's just this movie should never have been made i think they just wanted a vacation they're like oh yeah. let's choose like a nice little island and let's get paid make a movie for it. there yeah it's yeah. probably filmed in florida bro <laughs> sure it was nice or the catalina I mean, islands <laughs> yeah ricardo you i'm an in this, on right? this one what? what that's a troll yeah yeah for huh? sure. um it was it was like Wait, one, when are you gonna flip it <laughs> nah it's just it's just one of those movies that you know what's going to happen. It's like a movie. You know, my favorite thing about the movie is like, it feels like a, like a movie. <laughs> yeah, no, it's because it's one of those uh, good times. You know, you get, you, you get a good time and, and, and. Was it a good time? So professional. <laughs> was it a good time? It was. It was seemed a, like a good time. Yeah. And I was smiling. I mean, it was, was it a. Ticket to Paradise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you're talking about. Did you learn like some lessons from your no, father, no, George no, Clooney? No, no, or? no. It's just like I knew that it was gonna be bad, right? So I got to my level and I was like, "All right, I'm I'm gonna watch this movie that's gonna be probably like have those little mini jokes in the side. It's gonna be annoying." He knew it was gonna be formulaic, but that's jokes. what you wanted. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Look, all the jokes in the movie are in the trailer. I wasn't expecting something like good, obviously. So no, it, it it was it was a good time. I remember I was smiling the whole time. My cheeks were hurting and shit because I was just smiling the whole time. I just wanted Julia Robbins, uh, Julia and Roberts. fucking and, and what's his name? George, George Clooney. Clooney. George Clooney. Okay. Um, because it's about them and their relationship. You wanted them to kiss. They won't. Uh, do they? <laughs> They do. Oh, they do. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that coming. I. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how, like, you already know. I just wanted to see the journey, bro. Oh. I thought. I thought this movie was gonna be um the one with Sandra Bullock and um <laughs> what's oh. the, the stripper Channing guy? Tatum? Channing Tatum. Like, what was that called? Lost City. Yeah. La- right. Lost City. I thought it was gonna be like that. You know, you, you don't expect anything. You just want to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's what, what I, I thought. thought. That's what I got. No. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. And then they, they you, you know what they have? The you know what they have? Uh, Two at tickets the end? to paradise? <laughs> no. <laughs> at, the end, at the end, they have the good old blooper reels. Oh, oh they, they do. Yeah. 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 They do. Boom, boom, boom. You're just smiling the whole fucking time. Yeah. So Are you, you sure you smile? wear an eyebrow? I don't remember. <laughs> but if, uh, um, if you want a, like a nice little time, you know, with your date. Oh, okay. It's like one of those like anti woke movies for like old but, but it's weird because like yeah. the the other the other half of that didn't like the movie. Yeah, yeah you know. so the other half you're probably gonna time. get the, you get the same results. I don't know. Results man. may vary. I honestly, uh-huh. I think again, if I hadn't been so busy, I would have watched this movie because I kind of did want to watch it. Yeah, I, and yeah. I wanted what Ricardo got, yeah. and I hope I would have. I really hope that if I had gone, I would have gotten that. Yeah, but in. in the theaters if yeah. you watch it at home no, no, no. <laughs> it at i yeah. contemplated about because it was when just it, like when it comes out on tnt <laughs> <laughs> with the commercials are like i'm fine mm-hmm. mm. you don't like it you don't like it too yeah. i was like i can't contempl- about this asshole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'll buy me america side on this one bro you would punch it swine dang <laughs> Yeah, cause, yeah. like I, it was like a Friday, and I was just like, usually Fridays are one of the days I go to the movies or whatever. I was like, "What's out? One ticket to paradise, please." <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> 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 "Oh, 
Yeah, because I was like, I was looking at. I didn't watch anything, man. Yeah, because I was like, I was looking at the like, I like the coming soon or like whatever's like was out, and I was just like. I think it was this. It was like two tickets or whatever. The ticket of paradise, and then like Black Adam, and I was like, I no, you chose. I was like, <laughs> Black Adam. Black Adam. I think, uh, yeah, <coughs> that's the other. I one. would have two. Yeah. yeah, I would have two. But I think by then, I think I had already seen Black Adam. So I was just like, those were the only like two new movies that I hadn't seen. You saw it again? No, oh. I mean, so, like I had seen it already. Because I don't, I don't know if this one, what day that one, that that one come out. Mm, is this the day I saw it? Or the <laughs> it was day the same day as Black Adam. It was. It yeah, might have yeah, been, was. yeah. <laughs> I would have too. I'm not trying to watch that shit. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go? Well, I only have one, I think, before that one or one. Yeah, just go for it, bro. Yeah. So I want, I saw Black Adam, of course. <laughs> you saw it too? <laughs> Nah, to take a shower after? Nah. <laughs> I, Are you, you okay? Funny? You I know was, what? I'm going to be surprised. I, I, I think, I'm proud of you, Gino. You know what's funny? I was hooked for the it trailer, and I was like, I want to watch this. And then like the the day came, and I was like, on my phone, I was like, oh, the movie's out. And I went back on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it? Como fue? Oh! Yeah, it's just eh. There's nothing really special about this one. It's just, it's The Rock being The Rock. Mm. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Does he do the eyebrow? I think he does. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, there's I'm um, like uh Pierce Brosnan in this is alright. The guy that does uh was it Hawkman's is good. Like some of the characters, but just the story was just kind of me. Just Oh uh, man, I was like I was hoping you were gonna tell What's me. What's the story? Does he have to like good. save the world? There's a guy named Adam no. who's black. So the thing <laughs> so, oh, shit. He's so he's technically considered an anti hero. Yeah. Where he's got no morals yeah that's mm. stupid they well, always say that no like yeah he's got no like he's the thing is like he'll do anything to kind of correct something as opposed to because there's in the movie there's a there's a battle between hawkeye i mean hawkeye uh hawkman yeah <laughs> hawkman and, and dr strange yeah <laughs> dr fate uh, uh yeah huh? so hawkman and and black adam because hawkman is trying to uh Stop this dude from, you know, doing the whole ritual thing, become king of the fucking world and shit. Huh. Yeah. Um, he's, the, the other problem. dude's trying to get the same kind of power that that uh, Black Adam has. It comes from huh. wizard and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to watch this. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, no. This is, yeah, this is, uh, it'd be a delete, straight out delete from America. So, yeah, so, so the whole thing is that dude's trying to take over the world and whatever, get all this power. Hawkman wants to try to stop the dude and then bring him to justice while why well, is part of the Justice Society. Uh while Black Adam is just trying to eliminate that dude. Just kill him or whatever to kill the threat. So there's that whole that's what I said, that whole moral thing of oh. he's willing to do anything to achieve his goal. He's like the guy from Firefest who wanted to, who was gonna mm. suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow, I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the that one. Guy from Remember, yeah. he was like, "You're gonna have get the to water? wink," and then he's like, "So I brushed uh, my teeth." <laughs> oh man, it's insane. Oh, okay. Two I, questions I, on you. Okay. Um, how long is it? It was. Over two hours for sure. Ugh. It was barely over two hours. It's two hours and four minutes. And it's a, it's a good it, nap there. Did huh? you feel it? <laughs> no, there's like nothing really like. It, oh, so it's fun. It's it's not very offensive. No. Stupid lines from The Rock. It's just kind of generic. A little bit. Like you do get a couple stupid lines from The Rock because like they're trying to teach him because he's been dormant for over like you know thousands of years because like he comes from a civilization that predates. Like all the stuff that we kind of know, like the whole the pyramids, Babylon, Rome, oh. all that stuff. He's from like he's an eternal. Wait, so they teach him how to speak English? Like a kid or an, a a lady, like always, and he I falls forgot, in love like with the a girl. I forgot, n- like Terminator. No, too? they don't teach him English, but they teach him just like American uh, Sign Language, ir- <laughs> irony and stuff. <clears throat> you know how to be sarcastic and stuff. Wow, you know that didn't exist. A back kid then, or like a lady? Yeah, it was a kid. That looks like his Cause kid. Because, like, the, like, there's a whole message of, like, white colonialism in this. Oh. Yeah. 
Because there's like this little country that's uh like Black Panther. But Black Panther did. <laughs> 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 uh yeah, so there's like this country's being kind of uh run by this regime. This militant kind of like regime and stuff, but that's very corporate and very white in this Middle Eastern country. Because mm. they're trying to find uh, kind of same thing with like Black Panther. There's an element in that country. That, oh, okay. Yeah, there's like a high deposit of that element there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. This guy is related to Shazam, right? Kind of. Yeah, the powers kind of come from the same place. Yeah. Are they yeah. cousins? He's a villain, right? <laughs> That's his enemy, no? In Shazam. His rival, I think? Yeah, they're kind of like... His like I said, he's an guy. anti-hero, so I think yeah. they do clash in certain things. Like, his but bad yeah. guy? Here's the thing. Here's why I really didn't want to watch it. Even if I wasn't busy, I would have not watched it. Though, I used to love The Rock when he first started because mm. he was really trying hard, you know? Like, if you look at his, or like, Fast Five... <laughs> the game if watch, plan? If you watch... Hell yeah! <laughs> the Disney, uh, I can't if, you watch, if you watch Fast Five... And compare that to like Hobbs and Shaw, they're Hobbs two completely Shaw different characters. Well, one of them is an actual character, and the other one is just the Rock. But mm-hmm. What yeah. about the Rundown? That was another good. That yeah, was that's first all of his early movies. The Tooth yeah. Fairy. Yeah. Oh, I love um, the Tooth Fairy. That was a good one. But now he's so big that he's so powerful that he just it's just he's it's very just dimensional. Dilutes everything just to make yeah. it very generic. And the way I see the Rock movie now, the Rock's movies now. Is the way like America sees like Marvel movies. Yeah. It's just kind of like nothing, <laughs> you know. And it just it it bothers me so much, you know. And I bet because this movie kind of had like a generally positive reception, right? Um, and I think it's because spoiler alert, Superman comes out in here, right? Oh and my Cavill god! Superman, right? Yeah. Were but here's in? here's the thing. Yeah, but like here's the thing. But it doesn't wait, wait, mean, let me let me let me. But let it's me, not enough. Let me give you my theory. No, but apparently for a lot of people it is these days. No. They complained that a movie's bad because it had no cameos, right? <clears throat> um, so here's the thing. I think that The Rock added that super late just so it could be met, like, well, the movie. Because if you remember, when he came out in Comic-Con, they asked him about it. They asked, is Henry Cavill coming back? And he kind of, like, almost said no, right? And people booed him on stage. No right way. and apparently this cameo was shot very like pretty recently and it oh supposedly leaked out before the movie came out so i think <laughs> just to get enough audience. he he put it in there because had that not been in there people wouldn't have given a fuck about this movie that's true yeah i'm like because the did best thing, thing that the trying. rock does is marketing yeah right <laughs> I, that's my theory and i base it on absolutely no facts but <laughs> like I, I can see that argument i'm like you know they're always i guess they're always superman gonna comes back right yeah yeah but it's one it's a cameo two it's at the post credits right but he's so still it's, but it, yeah it's not like i i hadn't heard about it i didn't know about the, the the whole superman thing like that they actually managed to get henry cavill to come back to do it because I think that was a question mark surrounding, I think, the DCU. Yeah, nobody knew what was happening. Yeah, because there's, like, everything's kind of up in the air of who's coming back, who's still kind of under contract or whatever, whether they're going to recast Superman after all the stuff that happened with, like, Justice League and everything, whether they're going to try to go for a fresh start. You know, even after uh, Ben Affleck kind of lost his Batman role, but did he really lose kinda it? Kind of not, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, he had... He had what's his face, Robert Pattinson, be Batman, but then that's kind of a different Batman universe that they're kind of juggling at the same time. Same with the Jokers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he sold, <laughs> yeah, he sold it as that he had been kind of wanting to do that, that he'd been trying to like he had been fighting the studio no, no. for so long to try to no. do that, and I guess they I finally caved. Yeah. yeah, like, like I said, that's the way they were trying to sell, it, but yeah. it could like what you said, it could, it could go that way. Like I, I wouldn't put it past them to try to do that. Like in, to me, that does kind of make sense. Like it'll it it brings you an extra hook as to some as to. I guarantee you, if that wasn't in there, people like this movie would have gone. Except I did like I had, yeah. like I tried to for a lot of these like I tried to avoid you know yeah. spoiler free, or whatever because I'm a fucking nerd. Yes. I, I feel like uh, I feel like the conversation went like this. Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend. <laughs> oh. 
You're mean. <laughs> You're no fun. I and can be very, very, very persuasive. persuasive. <laughs> oh, come on. Leave town. No. <laughs> no. no. I'll, I'll be, be your, your friend. friend. <laughs> That's how you think it happened. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> so overall, it was like, whatever. Yeah, there's like, there's nothing. That's probably the best outcome. Of the yeah, game. there's nothing like, there's no emotion in this or anything. Nothing that like, you know. But the so you just sat there and had like a brain fart for two hours. That's how I live my life. So. Yeah, yeah, I was like, that doesn't change my other, any other day. Brain fart a quarter mile. <laughs> you get one. Yay! <laughs> All right, Oprah. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just eh. There wasn't anything to make it you know spectacular or you know make you go run to go watch this. Mm. Nothing. It's. It's kind of. Do like, you recommend maybe a digital purchase, like a rental purchase? on Amazon? Uh, Amazon. Just wait till it comes on HBO Max. It's gonna be on <laughs> HBO Max. <laughs> so are we finally getting to it? No, I need to have one. One. Last one. Sorry, Uno guys. Mas. I'm confused what we're getting to, but all right. Uh, the next one we watched was "Pray for the Devil." Oh, what's Whoa, that? that sounds oh, very yeah, that it's one. a possession movie. Oh, where... is that the Exorcism movie? Yeah, oh, okay. with the nun. So there's a nun lady, That's and fighting she, a demon. yeah, so she's like, "Hey, I want to take classes," and they're like, "No, we're Catholic, and you're a woman. You can't Ooh, do that." And then she's like, "Yeah, I can." And so then she's like, "I'm so gonna gentrify this place. I'm gonna <laughs> girl boss the <laughs> hell out of this <laughs> demon." Yeah, and she's like, "You're fired." Um, <laughs> and it's called prey p-r-e-y instead of oh prey. like prey so like is she the prey mm. for the devil i don't get it because like well, the devil it, doesn't kill her or anything but it's but it possesses people right it possesses one person and oh. then she well the, unpossesses well, her. well isn't like the whole storyline <laughs> based off of this is based off of the freaking trailer like her mom got possessed when she was younger and now it's trying to go after her she... so she's kind of Something like that, she but is like, a prey. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's trying to take her over her now, and now she's all like Jedi mind tricking the freaking sure, devil. But it, she learned stuff. Well, it's basically her mom had schizophrenia or something, and the mom. Well, beat her. Why they but it was her. the demon beat her, yeah. not the schizophrenic mom. Or whatever. Yeah, but that's why like it's trying to get her the whole time, mm -hmm. but it only gets people around her. It mm. can't get her because oh. she has the power. Oh, She's got also, Jesus on her side. Also, <laughs> you know, it is a Catholic movie, so Ooh. of course, Jesus there's no the abortion. So this woman who's a nun or something, she had a child once. Oh, she's and got a bad And she couldn't, own. yeah, she couldn't keep it, obviously. Like, you just don't do that. So she gave it up, and the person possessed, yeah. the child possessed, Oh. It's her Because that's literally the worst thing that Catholics do, right? It's mm -hmm. it's pretty bad, if you ask yeah. me. Mm. Um, that and those little wafers. They're just dry. <laughs> those are good. <laughs> that's one thing they I got right. I almost wanted to get a first communion just to do that, just to dry the cracker. <laughs> I, think in I think in Mexico, they just sell them straight out, yeah. right? They're yeah. Just yeah. Not they sell them at the yeah. store. You can get them plain. They're called obleas. You can get them plain or you can mm. get them with, with um, cajeta. And they're oh, delicious with cajeta. Dude, I always told my delicious. mom that if they had given out like Pringles instead of those wafers, I would have been Catholic a long time. <laughs> I would have just like, give me the Pringles. They dunk you into like a bathtub of the, the little Kool-Aid jammers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And then they give you a Pringle. Yeah. Um, so this movie, you guys know I'm a scaredy cat and I was watching it. It's nighttime and I was just like, <laughs> oh, so all right. So it's work. not even scary. No, nothing. And like the girl crawls up the wall for three oh, seconds, that old thing. and then they cut. They it couldn't even afford. Crawl. They couldn't yep. even afford to keep her up there for like ten seconds and have her twist they, her head or anything. Like they couldn't have just, just like you know, flip the room upside, <laughs> dress a room upside down, just have her frame that shit. Just do the old, <laughs> just do the old school <laughs> thing where you just build the room to look yeah. like it's upside down and just have no, her walk on the that, floor. That costs too much. That yeah. costs too much. <laughs> You're building a room anyways. <laughs> No. She was so mad about that. I know. Stupid <laughs> <It's laughs> production design. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm deleting. <laughs> Deleted. Yeah. I thought you were say the name of the movie. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I am a delete. Oh, I thought you were going like. I know you're, you're always out. the contrarian. Yeah. Nah, this one is awesome. Had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I thought I was gonna have a good time because it was like one of those movies. Is it Mickey Mouse. Here? It made me smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. See you at the game, Joe. <laughs> 
and it was uh it was it was it was bad it, it's actually i'm biased when it comes to exorcist movies because um the exorcism? You don't like <laughs> I mean, exorcism? The exorcism? I don't like none of them. Really? Yeah. Not even the exorcist? No, see, that's the, that's the problem. It's that's, such a high bar. Yeah. For, like, hey, the Emily Rose is pretty good. I didn't really like it either. No? no. Like, I don't know why. It's just like, they're all, I guess I'm comparing it or something. Well, I don't yeah, know. To be fair, course. they yeah. all try to mimic that movie. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah. yeah. The only thing, the only one that I, it was like passable because it was, it was kind of different in like a, I don't know. In a different way? <laughs> in like, uh, the, I guess, it, I don't even remember. I just remember I liked it and it was Veronica, the one in Spanish, the Mexican one. That's not one. a possession movie, is it? Yeah. No, it's a Ouija movie. No, she gets possessed. Does she? Oh, man. I don't remember that. Anyways, um, but the that's the only one that I was like, oh, okay, that one's okay, you know? But but anything else is bad for me, right? So I already knew. I was like, damn, watching the trailer. You guys seen the trailer? Yeah. Right? Isn't it like whack or I kind of want to watch it. Yeah, all yeah. right. It looks That's corny. like the Resident Evil of possession movies. Yeah, I guess it's corny. Yeah. It's like really corny, and like the girl's like, I'm your friend, you know? And then, like, obviously, she's the evil one. It's nothing, nothing scary, CGI all You've the way. You've seen it all before. Yeah, yeah, CG all the way. And it kills it, you know? Like, so it got me thinking, like, damn, because I remember going home and I was like, what is it about The Exorcist that is so, like, good good to me because I, I i love that movie it's like probably my, one of my favorite movies right so it's like they Captain did something Howdy. yeah oh yeah yeah you get it huh. and fucking um and this they always have those jump scares or they're trying to do something like super scary and the extras doesn't have that so it's like what what did it do that is so great that it's scary and this one didn't do so i don't know trash <laughs> you gotta watch something like mediocre watch it <laughs> it's bad it's really yeah, bad yeah. it could be like emily rose it's acceptable right yeah but it's not it's it's like oh and it's like one of those movies where they they the the girl is killing everybody while she's possessed hmm. in the hospital remember she starts killing everybody and like oh, I got your dream. like i mean i knew it was kind of be like that but i was kind of hoping that'd be like somewhat entertaining kind of like no. the conjuring three no. You know, where it's not that good, but it's like entertaining, you know? Yeah. Oh, the, that one is possessed. <clears throat> nothing really happens. Because she. Uh huh, nothing happens. She so. just goes to the church or whatever the fuck. Oh and my then. God. Then she literally just kind of stumbles upon a class. Do like, she remember? literally goes into a door. She finds a door. She's like, what's this door? And then there's oh men, God. you know, learning about it, it, exorcism. And she's like, I want to learn. And they're like, no. And she's like, but she yes. From Kentucky. Or- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo. I heard you got some demons in this house. <laughs> yeah. Christ compels you. <laughs> Sounds like something I could do. I have exercised the demon. And it's like so fast too. Like it's like one of those like um, they're having like a class. And like, oh, we have this girl that's possessed. So oh, all the students are girl. going, you know, oh. on a field trip to go see this girl. And then, like, two guys go, and they fail, and then she goes in, and she, and she shows off, mm-hmm. like, I could stop her. I am a woman. If she girl-bossed it. <laughs> Hear me yeah. wrong. Yeah. So, it, it's, it's it's that kind of whack, you know? And then, like, the the whole, remember, like, the... <laughs> because the, she's a woman? <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's so, like, He's um... like, among other reasons. Uh, I'm, I'm, like, the good one, you know? And it's obvious, like, oh, my God, she's really good at this. Wait, like, women her. can't be priests, no? No, no. they can't. Right. So yeah. how does she exercise the devil? That's the whole thing. She, she girl bossed it. Mm. Yeah, and then, mm. remember, um, um... That's the power the of a whole, mother. like, at the end, she's talking to the priest, but she's talking to him like this. No. You don't remember? And you're like, why is she looking at her like that? And I was like, why? <laughs> oh, yeah. Their eye lines her, weren't matching. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like, the guy's not there. Mm-hmm. So she's like looking somewhere else. And yeah. the guy's like right here. It's bad. That <laughs> yeah. kind of bad. Yeah. And then the movie, like, The Exorcist ends where it's just like, it's over. The Exorcist is over. And you leave, right? But then I was like, oh, wait. This is 2020, right? Post credit? So, no, it's like literally you think it's over and it starts and then it's her in her life original life you know and she's like in a taxi cab and she's like oh i'm getting my taxi and then oh, everybody's no. just like oh, i'm back bitch no that's not what happened Remember? so no so, <laughs> so she, she girl bossed she, so hard that she actually like impressed all the the bishops and 
whatever the fuck the pope so they're sending her to to the going. vatican mm. in order to be like the official like woman i don't know exorcist expert and, yeah so and then a demon follows her, right? What? That's what I was talking about. When she's like walking in in fucking New York, and she gets her taxi, and then the demon, like the the, the the taxi driver is possessed, and, ah, and then Takawa, you know, oh. credits. And it's like the dumbest thing. But, I was like, man, these movies fucking suck. Yeah, I just read what the ending is. Crap. <laughs> but I don't. You that, saw it. What got my? <laughs> he read it. <laughs> what got my attention? That's, that's how easy. Yeah. It been, huh? What got my attention is the whole like she did a lot to get these bishops' attention, way better than a little boy did. Get it? Chris? Oh, <laughs> oh! Yeah. I was like, what? Uh, Ew, I know. I was, that's nasty. You went a long way for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet <to> miss. <laughs> I got you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Stay quiet okay. now, bye. Yeah, but it's uh... what you just said <laughs> is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You guys just did pick it up right away. That's all, all right. Don't put this on me. Oh, we got it. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my joke, yeah. <laughs> no, that's for that's next month. Oh, okay. Yeah, November. So can we talk about the movie? Oh, the movie. You know, my favorite thing about the movie is like it feels like a like movie. a movie. Ooh. The fuck was he thinking when he said that shit? I, I get it. You I too. get what he's saying. I Do mean, he, he can't That's say anything negative about, about his girlfriend's movie. Yeah. I thought they broke up at the time. I don't know. That's how he felt about Black Panther. Know. Um, but uh, Robert, I want you to start. You want me to start? Wait, what's no, the movie? No, no, no. It can't oh, be, it can't be Robert. Guys, I'm an idiot. What are we yeah. reviewing? We were. Oh. Okay. Oh, you missed Did it. I, I watched watch that. Everything, everything, everything. I watched that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, we yeah. watched <laughs> that. <laughs> that movie. Mm-hmm. Robert has to go last. Is you? You're gonna go last? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, can <laughs> I go first then? <laughs> oh yeah. Have you guys saw it too, right? Mm, yeah. Oh my god. You saw okay. it too. Wait, so, so introduce the movie. Okay, well, first of all, it. I went through the whole, this whole series in oh, order to get to wow. this movie. Wow, I'm actually proud of you. I'm proud of you too, man. Yeah, yeah I, I think I binged them all in like one. Oh, wait, did you just do this timeline? Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, okay. in order to watch That's this movie. a lot movie, of effort. Well, I watched yeah. the original one and then the ones that were lead up to this one. Right. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I did some homework for this. So let's get to this final movie of October, which we saved for last. And of course, we've been bringing this up since I think July. <laughs> I believe so too. Because yeah. Robert had a countdown telling yeah. us hey, twenty-two days. I, and I think things. it was since like the trailer got released. You should have been like, "I'm here" or something. Yeah, <laughs> I should have. But yeah. It is. Things just don't work out. Sometimes life gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it is Halloween ends, and my God, I guess it did in a way. I don't know. It's. We'll get into it in a bit, but um, I guess I'll go first. I'm, I'm a delete. Deleted. Uh, I don't know the the big. It started off interesting, and then it just spiraled down to some dipshit storyline. I just did not understand. That sounds about right. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. That's literally the synopsis. And you know what's funny? I had to <laughs> I had to subscribe to the premium Peacock to watch it. Oh, you saw it. It on Peacock. Oh, no. Yes. Wow. I I I just couldn't come up. You know what? You know why? Because you're you sent us a message in the group chat. Your reaction to the movie, oh, and that yeah. made that made me want to not go to the theater. Because yeah. I knew I was wasting good money. <laughs> Not only sit my butt there, but get a bucket of popcorn because I'll probably throw that shit on the screen. Well, that's where you get the um, AMC. How do you know it's negative, though? It could have been ambiguous. I don't know, bro. That's <laughs> okay. It wasn't. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was not like a fucking cryptic uh, yeah. gift that you sent yeah. in that I, chat. I'll say this. You're the Halloween expert. I've seen your desk. You had the Michael Myers stuff, everything. You even talk about... Tronies. He's got everything. <laughs> you, you, you even talk about part three. No one's known about the part three one. Yeah. You know? The season of the witch? Yeah. yeah. So I had I took that very seriously. That react even even I showed it to Michelle and she was like, "Ooh, he did not like that." I'm like, "Yeah, right." <laughs> so you read it too, okay? <clears throat> Jamie Curtis, man, I give her props because I she was the only one acting in this whole fucking movie. 
I believe she was the only actress in this movie that took this movie serious and did a good job at it. While everyone was like, Someone's getting canceled. We got canceled a long time ago, bro. Bro, yeah. Corey, Corey, that dude, I don't know what the fuck was this whole thing. I feel like you're trying to mix. The, the, I don't know, Danny McBride. Is Corey the new guy? Yes, the, he's the new nerdy the guy. Okay. Oh, the wow. love of her life. Oh my God. Yeah. That, that that was so forced. I fucking hate that. I was like, even towards the end, they're like, you put it together. Shut the fuck up, Corey. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut up. So, just shut up. <laughs> At least the shape didn't fucking talk. You shut the fuck up. I don't know. I got, I got a lot more to say, but I'm going to save it for later. Oh, I'm going to give it to the next person. I'm going to give it to Gio. Go for it. Now, you're not a big horror guy. Let's see what you say. No. Yeah, it's interesting. You, you sat through Wait, a whole, walk whole through your whole yes. journey. Yes. So I wa- yeah, I watched the first. Like, yeah, like I, I pretty much stayed home. I didn't go watch the, the, this one. <laughs> <laughs> don't say. <laughs> yeah. Because, because I was like binge watching all of them like it. So like I was at home the whole day just trying to get through to be able to watch this. And yeah, I think I might be on that boat with you just delete this. Yeah, dude. Delete it. Like it's going in like a weird way. Like it's going one way and then it goes back a different way and it's just like you're probably just better off going with yeah. the first the first way at least you can write yourself into existence if you'd want it to. <laughs> But yeah, it's just it was just <clears throat> bad. The story, this, the story was just bad. Like you undid anything and everything that you were trying to do. It's just like the whole first part of this movie is for nothing. They should have just ended with the second one, dude. The Halloween Kills. That's what yeah. I think. Yeah, no, no. There's <laughs> there's nothing really redeeming about this movie. Nothing that really like. Oh, that was cool. It was just no, mm-hmm. no. It just doesn't play out very well but how do you feel from watching them in order like the for the halloween halloween kills and halloween ends like do you feel halloween 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 kills halloween ends halloween 2018 (laughs) yeah which is the best one (laughs) like do you feel like the in order was it going like the good correction chronological chronological order or do you think the third one just fucked it all up well because they all except for i think this one has a time jump right yeah four years yeah Mm. Where everything is supposedly all nice and then stupid shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. the synopsis. That's a, yeah, that's awesome. Because I guess awesome. the first, <laughs> we're gonna cut that out. Because <laughs> I guess would would be the the two middle two are back to back. They yeah. play back to back. Yes. And then this one, yeah, there's that little bit of a time jump. Yeah, like everything, like the whole relationship, it it does go a little bit fast and stuff. And then I don't know, it was just very like. Oh my god, he's the other kid from the side of the tracks and stuff. Like, <laughs> kind of love story. I was just like, no, yeah. no, this is kind of weird and kind of, nah. It's, like you said, it was, it was. It kind of went into a forced area, and then she just had blinders. It's just like, do you yeah. know who your freaking like grandma is? Like, why do you have blinders? This is, it's kind of but stupid. I love him, grandma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so he showed me his boobs. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. Nah. Uh, what about you, America? <clears throat> Delete. Ooh. Delete it. We also saw this um, on Peacock. Good. Um, I think he wanted to watch it in theaters, and I was like, mm, no, please, no. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not. And um, uh, this is just trash. Why do we have a new guy? This is not a Halloween movie. Why does Mr. Halloween not come out until like 45 minutes in? Yeah. Because he's like, old. His hip he's hurt. old and tired. <laughs> like, he, he can't run. Always he tired, can't walk bro. as fast. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's got arthritis. Halloween. That was the working Halloween's title. got a curfew. <laughs> 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 Halloween. So very tired. <laughs> Halloween no posta cabron. <laughs> yeah, this I was not interested in the story about this kid who ends up accidentally killing a kid and then he gets he becomes an outcast and then everybody fucking bullies him, although they know he's a murderer. He's, he's 
weird. Weird, I, weird, weird. And, and yeah, it's like it. it's only yeah. like the band too. Huh? Yeah, like the little <laughs> the nerd band? kids are, are, are making fun of him. It's so weird. It ruins his life. Um, oh, and four then the girl again? loves him. <laughs> huh? The girl loves him, right? Yeah, the, the like niece, the, the granddaughter, whoever she is. And just, just fucking dumb. So dumb, so dumb, so dumb. And then I'm glad he dies. I like really hope they never make another one of these things again, ever. No. Let the Activia lady rest. Like, <laughs> that's <Activia> it. Lady. <laughs> Let her have her bowel movement and yeah. <laughs> Right? <laughs> this shit's trash. Delete. Next. Ricardo. I am also deleting. Oh, here we go. Delete it. Yeah. I thought you liked it. <laughs> I thought you, you had a big smile on your face at the end. Huh? No. <laughs> yeah, because it was over. Uh, I, I watched it in Peacock. Fucked it up, I guess, too. Nah. Like, you never it can know. only I, do so much. I like, know. if the story isn't there to hook you, it's not going to make it any but, better in theaters. Like, even I if. I know, just, bro. He like Jeepers Creepers <laughs> in theaters. That's just more questioning his taste. Theaters. Oh, you did? No, I told uh, you. I don't know where to go. Let's take it to Paradise. Show. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Um, the, like, what she said. I, what the fuck? Oh, we're watching this shit, right? And it's like this guy and, and, and the, the. Corey? Yeah, Corey guy. Corey yeah. character. I was, I was so confused. Yeah. And by, it, it was like literally. I paused it and it said like fifty five minutes. Yeah. And I was like, where the fuck is Michael and he's Myers? He's in a cave. Like he he's, he's he went bankrupt. Like he, he lives like, under the bridge now. Dude, what? and then he's in a van down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> he's dude. he's bunky with Pennywise, man. <laughs> dude, and he fucking. <laughs> they got that two for one special. <laughs> literally, the same They're little roommates. four kids this come and, and he's really got a shit and follow this guy all around. Right? It's always the same four kids. They're like, oh, them again in the liquor store. They're here mm -hmm. it, it's like by small town yeah i i don't understand what's going on like yeah. literally what happened in the writing room like what are you guys trying to do here they were not trying to end like halloween the movie like in general they were like trying to destroy it like please forget everything we did because that shit was <laughs> please don't ever ask us for anything again yeah no. like they were like oh, saying like i'm pretty the sure reboot the, the guy reboot. um the comedian was the comedian called danny mcbride yeah he was probably like oh i'm getting all sh i'm shitting i'm getting shit on <laughs> fuck it i'm gonna write the worst shit ever right now <laughs> i'm gonna give you the worst and i honestly think well i don't know what happened i was like so maybe confused. they like contractually had to make this movie and he was like i'm fucking done like but let's i not. found people that actually like this yeah. So what? that's why I trip out. Like I was like, oh, like I don't know. Maybe Robert likes this shit. Let's what find out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Um, before oh. I get into my actual review, I guess I want to give like a kind of like a uh, understanding. So like normies who haven't seen the Halloween movies and this reboot could Me? understand. Yeah, oh, well, kind of. <laughs> this whole experiment, as I want to call it, this reboot, right? Since 2018, I guess it. If I compare it to another movie series that was rebooted, that's like, a, that was a beloved franchise or whatever, it's pretty much like this new Star Wars trilogy. Okay. Where it started off very promising. Yeah. You're like wow, you know. Wow. And then by the end of it, you're just like, why, <laughs> why, why, <laughs> why do that to to end up where you ended up? Like, why? Why did we go through all that? You know. Um. So, yeah, I'm a huge Halloween fan. You know, I, I've seen all the movies. I know all the backstories or whatever. I watch them every year, even though most of them in their series are terrible, right? Yeah. There's just something about this character and all that that really... A more cash grab. Yeah, that really draws me you in. Just I just them. love the mythology and all that. Um, Even though by, by the time this movie came out, the last one was just trash. Yeah. I had literally <laughs> no hope for this one. You know, but yet there I was, you know, opening day, even though like I had no time for anything my, else. My two I cheese. I had no time for anything else, but yet I made time to go watch this movie. Yeah. I literally booked the latest ticket I could and I went to watch this movie. You're the one ticket sale yeah, that this movie even got. Though, even though I knew I had no hope, basically. And uh, I got to be honest, like when it started, I was like, okay, where, what can they possibly do? Right. With the way the last movie ended, with everything that's been done, like what Can't can they worse. possibly do, right? <laughs> and at times I was like, "What are they doing? Mm -hmm. And why?" You know, and it was so strange. It was such a strange experience, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. So we haven't really nobody's talked about like the synopsis, but 
<laughs> it starts off on the night of the 2018 one, mm-hmm. right? Where Michael comes back and he's going around killing people. Yeah. And it's about this babysitter, this dude named Corey, Corey. Mm-hmm. who's babysitting this kid. And this kid is a little brat, right? Yeah. And he locks him in the attic. He locks Corey in the attic. And Corey gets scared in the attic because he's a little bitch. Yeah. And uh, he tries to break out because the little kid locked him in. And the kid's right outside the door. You know, the attic is on the third floor. And he's, like, making fun of it. And Corey kicks the door so hard that he breaks it. He knocks Corey down the stairs. No, not Corey, the kid. The kid. He, Corey knocks the kid down the stairs. And the fucking kid lands and breaks his neck and kills him. Yeah. That's how the movie starts. Wait, doesn't and he then go you over the banister and yeah. the stairs? Yeah. He basically kills a child. Yeah, from the second or third floor. This is how the movie starts. A character you've never seen before. Never you've never heard of. heard of. Yep. Fucking kills a child. Right. Yeah. By accident, but he kills a child. He was a promising Credits character. roll. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right? The, song the one everything. thing I will say, and throughout this whole series, that the fucking scores by John Carpenter have been of amazing. Right? Um, so right away, you're like, what the fuck? And then you get into like the actual movie, right? And it's like four years later, you get a whole explanation from Jamie Lee Curtis saying like, it's been four years and this is what's <laughs> happening, right? Oh my God. You say like the town has been affected by Michael Myers. Nobody trusts each other anymore. Everybody thinks of Tim. He's still out there and blah, blah, blah. It has the whole town on edge, right? Mm-hmm. But I moved on. Now yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. All of now, a sudden. Now, all of a sudden I'm baking cookies when I've basically spent my whole life in fear. In fear, mm-hmm. preparing, like, as a hermit, preparing mm-hmm. for that moment. Now, all of a sudden, I'm making cookies. a doomsday prep. Right, yeah. And even though he's still alive. Even though he just killed my daughter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, that's where you are. So, then you wonder, what is this movie going to be about? Right? If, we're, if this is where we are. Right? It turns out that this kid, Corey, now four years later, he's all fucked up. He wasn't, you know, charged for anything. But he's all fucked up. People in the town, like, treating him like shit. Those four kids apparently. <laughs> um, or younger than him. And, you know... It's like, he's he's like a... Yeah. He's like, what, maybe college age, like, freshman age? Yeah. yeah. And they're, like, 16. So... They're bullying a... F- so oh, Jamie like, Lee, adult. bless her heart, she sees him getting bullied, and she kind of takes a liking to him. She's yeah. like... She helps yeah. him out. And she you intru- and I are the same. She, yeah, she introduces him to her, her, her granddaughter, you know, in hopes that they hit it off, you know? <laughs> Then you find out that this kid, you know, he has some evil in him. He might, he displays some like weird things, you know? Right, right, He right. probably likes to kill cats. <laughs> uh, and then like an hour in, he fucking finds Michael Myers in the sewer. <laughs> and through like some sort of like evil osmosis, uh, Michael Myers touches him. Yeah. And somehow passes his evil onto him. Yeah, I forgot about him, that. Right? And why did he go to the sewer again? I don't know. Running oh, away from the bullies. Oh, he, the bullies threw and, him off the bridge. And then oh, Michael right, dragged right, him right. into the okay, sewer. Yeah. So that happens, Save right? Him. And after that, he gets kind of like the evil seed planted in him. Mm-hmm. And he eye. starts to become kind of a serial killer mm-hmm. in the same way that Michael was. And by this time, he's already kind of dating uh, Lori's granddaughter because they fell in love like in two seconds for some yeah. reason. Mm-hmm. Because that's what they wrote in Take the screenplay. Take it to paradise, man. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Danny McBride like, and this girl loves this guy you know? <laughs> why? And, and now this, they um, kiss. this pussy of a man but now this guy's kind of crazy and Lori because she knows all about evil mm-hmm. she recognizes the look he's got the look <laughs> he's got the look, look. No, no, yeah. no she had she was like skeptical until like the, the father of the kid that he that Corey kills in the beginning of the movie he's like oh, when man. I saw that man you know the other day his eyes were different. Yeah. It wasn't the same boy I remembered yeah, cause, four years ago. Because he says, like, yeah, he knows that he, uh, it, he had said that he knows that he had, it was all an accident. He didn't mean to kill his kid. He, was all, he never yeah. blamed him for it. Yeah. But now he's evil. But yeah, now these for are like those reason. eyes that I saw yeah. in him when, you know, that happened. Are Point gone. is, the kid's like, evil he's, now, right? He's dead inside. The kid's evil now, yeah. and Lori kind of sees this. And now she's yeah. like, oh, I don't want my granddaughter around you, right? Mm-hmm. And this kid starts to become more and more like Michael. He starts to become a serial killer. He even puts on a mask. And at some point, he goes down to Michael, and they start tag-teaming, like, kills together. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Fuck. Uh, so this is what the movie is. This is the movie now, right? This whole thing that was billed as, like, these two characters, Lori Strode and Michael Myers, who have been destined to kind of meet you know, for all these for 40 years, they've been yeah. destined to get here, right? Mm-hmm. This is where we are. This character that we've never known before mm-hmm. is now the center of the movie, yep. right? Going around killing with Michael Myers. And somehow they rope them all together at the end and and it ends. 
Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty gruesome, but sure. Um, even with all that, you guys are gonna be surprised. Oh, oh no! You're um, gonna be an out, aren't you? Here's the thing. I agree with everything you guys have said. This movie's trash. Stop. This what? movie is bad. <laughs> Stop. Oh, but you but it. it's on it's on the Halloween curve. <laughs> no. <laughs> like the 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 the, the, oh, the B rated um, sequels you're talking about? No, no, just this new trilogy. Okay, okay, okay. And I thought Halloween ends was the 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 bottom is bottom of the barrel movie. <laughs> Right. This is a barnacle on the bottom of the barrel. And this is the fact that this is like a centimeter above that. <laughs> for me, makes it. I'm gonna give it an out on the okay um, right. on the Halloween end scale. No, the I'm fact that it's just slightly, slightly better. The fact that even though it was the wrong thing to do, it was fucking stupid. I fucking hated it. That they try to do something different. I give them some points for that, even though it was bad. You know, and the thing is that there are some parts of it, some parts of it, some moments, some sequences where I was like, somewhere in here, somewhere buried under this <laughs> big pile of, of dog shit that just walked by like a Rottweiler that just walked by and crapped on your lawn. Somewhere in here is a good movie. So there's no. somewhere in there. Oh, and that's why I'm kind of upgrading because it does, if you're like, it's funny, this whole series has had a lot of like, um, Easter eggs for like Halloween fans yeah. and like John Carpenter fans. This movie, you know what it is? It's Christine. Yes. Have you ever seen Christine? Yes. They basically ripped it off. They basically, yeah. Yeah. The one with the uh, car. Yeah. The one with the car. The one with the car. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's just, <laughs> it's just so mind boggling that why have this? And, and here's the thing. I, I kind of give it credit for trying new things, but even <laughs> even those things are not new things. They've tried doing that before. Mm-hmm. They've tried they've tried toying with the idea of passing the evil on to somebody mm-hmm. else. They did that on Halloween four. Yeah, the whole like the town is like haunted by Michael's spirit. That was actually uh, back when they were going to do Halloween four. Mm-hmm. They brought John Carpenter in to do like a treatment, and he wanted to make that movie. Like a Michael Myers less movie, just like how the town is affected by it. Yeah. But they okay. rejected it. So they kind of took that nugget from there. Okay. Right? But even, it's just, it, again, it's mind boggling. And it's really their own fault because they wrote themselves into a corner. Because back in the day, Michael and Lori were related. Yes. And that's why he kept coming after her, right? Yes. But now, Michael's just a dude. Yeah. And Lori is just traumatized, right? PTSD. So now all of a sudden you don't have a reason for Michael to come after her. No. So there's no reason for them to exist in the same movie. That's why. But yet somehow you have to bring him back together. Y- like I said, and, it was, oh yeah, and it's fucked up because they've done this to to Jamie Lee Curtis like three times now, where they sidelined her. Yeah. From her own series, because she's barely even part of this movie, right until the very end. You know they've done this to her so many times. That's, I feel that's, so bad for. That's but, why she's the best part of the movie. Isn't she uh, technically a producer on this? It's, she is. Yes. Sure, and she got paid, right? And good for her. No, but I'm saying, right? like, I, 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 you know, and again, going back to the whole like they tried something different. There was times, the one scene that I'm kind of alluding to was the whole junkyard scene where he kills all those teens. Mm-hmm. Corey, mm-hmm. yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, agree. I was like, this, this is cool, right? Like the whole vibe, the music. That's where it kind of all came together. And, Maybe that and could I have seen, been in the beginning. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and I could see some people, this movie already has some defenders because it tries something different. I mean, even though I'm kind of defending it too. Um, but I'm like, no. And I could see maybe somewhere down the line, this movie kind of being considered like an unrecognized masterpiece. You know what I'm like? Yeah. But I'm like, no. It's just, it was a mistake. <laughs> and it's clearly they didn't know what to do. And look. If you're going to do this where it's like pass on. And the thing is, they kind of alluded to that in the first one. Mm-hmm. If you remember when they're driving away after they kill Michael, they kind of, they, it's the mom, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and the daughter. Right? right. And they kind of pan down to the daughter and she has a knife in her hand. And oh. everybody was kind of saying, oh, they're doing that again. Right. 
So why not do that with a character we already know rather than like hastily introducing some dumbass new character? Yeah. You know, into the third movie where you had a second movie where nothing happened. <laughs> except, <laughs> except all the villagers. You had a waste of a movie. Yeah. Except a all waste. the villagers just carrying pitchforks You waste everywhere. it. And that's why like Danny McBride should not be writing movies, bro. Ugh. And, yeah, you know, and it's crazy because I know I gave it an out, but I'm always like talking myself down to a delete. But I'm going to stick with it because I guess sitting there in the theater, I was more confused than just like mad. I've been confused. Yeah. Going like, what in the mother fuck is happening? Yeah. He's still giving an out. And as, because Dang. of that, because that confuse is better than like, I hate this. Right, which is what I was feeling when I saw Halloween Kills, and the fact that it was that, and that is in no way kind of like an endorsement, <laughs> but yeah, that 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 was it. We're we're kicking you off the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you defend this movie, That's but so I mean, you want you want to get the opinion of somebody who's been with this franchise yeah. forever, yeah. right? And I would imagine a lot of people like me who know. Look, yeah, like this is how much of a Halloween nerd I am. The, the type that they use in the titles. The font. The blue the font, font. That is from Halloween 3. Yes. Right? Yes. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Compelling. You know? That's where I was like, oh my God, I creamed my pants. You know? Was <laughs> it because they were trying to do that? No, it's think? just like the whole series, this whole new series has had Easter eggs for all the Halloween like, movies. No, like, but you know how the characters the too. There's like, oh, it's all, that little kid that was in that background scene. All the characters, <laughs> even some settings... Like, all of it has been, like, Easter eggs for all the Halloween movies. Because he doesn't yeah. come out, right? What? Michael Myers in the third one or something? No. Yeah, so maybe that's what they were trying. No. Like, something similar. Was like, that why oh, they it's going to be the wild appearing. card. Yeah, it's the wild card. And yeah. then the third one, it had that, and this is the third one. Yeah. So, I, I kind of, yeah. I see what they It's were like, to do. just the batshit, stupid, off-the-wall <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but yeah, I mean, it's a, this is not a good movie. It, don't it don't take work. my being out and being confused as it's saying that this it's a good movie because it's not. It's horribly written. The characters, their yes. motivations are so stupid. The love story is like, why is this person like, unless she's like forcing herself to do it, which is even stupider, it's right? The evil eye, man, and just like shoving your one your best asset to like ten minutes at the end. Yeah. You know? And just the stupid scene after they finally kill him. Yeah. With the whole town is like as if they've been waiting. It's like, well, you don't even show us that. You spend this whole movie on this kid that we don't even know. Yeah. You want to make a movie about a kid who becomes a serial killer, make that movie. Uh-huh. You know, that's fine. And and then it's called like, Christine. And they, they, don't, <laughs> yeah. they don't even show they don't even like show him being really like evil and i don't know where he becomes evil That's it's why just it's, like it's just poorly he written touched. he got the cheese yeah. touched. Yeah. I, because i think uh, like i think in this one i think in the like original series they had more of a supernatural element yeah to the mike character and they they went out of their way right in the to reboot make it more to, grounded. to more grounded right yeah but which which is why halloween ends is so mind-boggling Right, they go back to that whole supernatural thing. Well, they tried adding it back in by yeah. him, by him, like when he brings in the dude, and he's, and he's like, like, "No!" But in, in the second one, like the more he oh, kills, the more like, yeah, he gets what stronger. Are you doing? It's, yeah. it's that adrenaline rush, man. It's so stupid. It's that adrenaline high. You know from what it killing. needed? Bust the rhymes. Yeah, yeah. trick like, or treat, yeah. motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the thing is about? Like, like I said, that most of yeah. most of the Halloween <laughs> movies are bad, but I think this bad, this new series. And I kind of, it makes me look down because I liked the first one. But now seeing them all, it's like, it's all bad. Yeah. Like this the new first series, one of this new series? Yeah. This new series is worse than the generic ones because it's a little bit more pretentious, right? Okay. It, try, it tries Super to. Well, it's, right? it's literally yeah. telling you, forget those because yeah. this one's better. At least the other ones are just like, hey, man, we're just, here's, here's this girl's tits. And now she's going to get killed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this one tries to be like a movie. You know, but, <laughs> movie. you know yeah, my like, favorite thing about the movie is like it feels like a like a movie. and it's just so ugly too. It was so poorly shot. This whole series, like I hated the cinematography. Like it's it was it's so ugly, so dirty. Budget. Not not low budget. It's just dirty. Was it's it, just not it's not it's not lit in any atmospheric way. You know, is it uh yeah? Cause like while watching it, like you see, like they're trying to build that parallel of this kid who. Well, Mike actually killed somebody. This one was an accidental kill or whatever. And he's got to live with that. You know, you kind of get the both sides of that 
kind of same thing. You get two parallel lines and of the 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 whole fucking killing on on Halloween. Yeah. And then he gets he meets or oh, oh, was it uh Michael Myers? Mr. Then he Myers? gets the <laughs> Mr. Halloween. Mr. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Myers. He meet like he meets him whatever. I thought they were gonna try to do. I guess what we kind of said like the whole kind of passing it on. And, and then that would that, be the Halloween like. And it's funny because it, it 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 just goes back on itself like you said. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna do it, then just do it, right? And that would have been like the Halloween end. Like Michael Myers yeah. is dead, He's but dead. well, at least that shape or d- that body mm-hmm. is dead does the cory guy live no he dies like i think he also so adopts because he also adopts a clown mask uh right yeah mm-hmm. which is similar to mm-hmm. what michael had in i think the, in the when, when he Christmas. first killed yeah, yeah. so they, like it was yeah they were trying to run that parallel or whatever <laughs> and then they mm-hmm. just kind of forget about it yeah it was, it was just like, like oh, we have to do the thing that we promised you in the first movie yeah, so like, yeah, because that's what I said. Like, it, it it looked like it was going one way, as if because uh, Michael was like getting weaker and all that stuff, and like this guy was kind of getting stronger. Like he was getting more confident. He was like straight out plotting murders and stuff, mm-hmm. and getting revenge on all these people that were making fun mm-hmm. of him and all that stuff. So you kind of saw it as maybe the passing of the baton. Yeah. Like the whole thing, but then, yeah, like I said, like at the end, it was just like, nah, knife to throw. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it didn't make sense, right? I was like, what the fuck? They're like, what was the whole point? Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and again, if you're going to do that, do it with a character that we've you've established, you kind of know, probably kind of like, you know, don't just. The I, daughter would have been dope. I, the daughter would have been Because that would have made it right more choice. emotional, more yeah. like. It would have gentrified the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, they would have hated that. <laughs> Inconceivable. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know. They would have changed from <laughs> It's so disappointing. It. This is really the rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Think about well, it. You said it. Back. I was like, yeah. Those <laughs> yeah. Whereas in in that series, the second one was pretty good, mm-hmm. and in this series, the second one was awful. Yes. <laughs> I like the second one more than the first. No, the, the second one was just like hills. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it was, was stupid. Yeah, because yeah. 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 the second one was just like the, like the villagers just like running around with pitchforks. Hey, there he is! La, 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 la. He and will like, die tonight. Uh-huh, he will they die. toss the dude die. from the freaking roof, and then they're like, "Whoops!" Yeah, my like, bad. If, if they take that part out, but they just put the kills and they kill these kids, it was good. Because in the original, the first one, not the original, but the first one. Damn, you had to, like, get these characters. Remember the characters in the first one? Oh, my God. They all suck. I yeah, hated all I, of them. I'm amazed that, like, I still, it's still mind-boggling to me that Danny McBride, she's a co-writer. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's kind of weird. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> and after that, like, after the first one, even the second one, like, how, it was a contract, right? He had to do three? No, I think they wanted to do this. Damn, Gross. that's insane. To oh, me, man. I think, honestly, they think they did something good. Really? Uh, Even this one, third one. Mm-hmm. Damn. They wouldn't be so pretentious if it wasn't. Right? <laughs> I guess. They're all, yeah, it's true. All of them. Oh my God, we're so good. <laughs> Evil dies tonight. So wack. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> the, the part I was more confused about, I want to bring this up, is when he would just, when Corey had a tantrum and he was like yelling at Michael Myers, like, all right, teach me how to kill. I'm like, you, he's not going to talk to you. He's going to be like, go do the talk. Imagine <laughs> they had a training montage. Oh, you're the best. Where Michael oh, has yeah. that just stabbing like, kids. Cool. Stabbing kids. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, the that would be really cool. Dude, they even tried to do that whole, um, they stabbed the lady. And yeah. then she's like hanging. They're mm. trying to give like, mo- like a, I love that he was mom. using a rusted ass fucking kitchen knife. That was great. Still sharp. Cut your throat and not, like, nothing. You know what's so funny? Wow. And kills fucking Michael. Stabs a lady in her throat with the fucking fluorescent lamp. Yeah. That he fucking broke. Straight up shoves it in her. That lady is alive in this movie. Oh, yeah. Mm. Gave gave Louis Strode that guilt trip. Why are you so happy? Shit, bro. She had that whole look at my mama. <laughs> mama. The movie's so bad. It was this no, whole series no. is bad. Yeah. Did like, anyone I could, watch anything else? Yeah, is, that was it. 
Yeah, that that was. Throw it in the trash. No, this is like trash And then I I, I thought it's I was going to have take out the trash. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a better time if I watched it in theaters and I was going to see I think it. you would have. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz in No, in you. <laughs> yeah, cuz I I was watching it at home and I was like, "Damn, this shit is something else." So, I honestly ah. I think if I would have put it on at home I would have been like, no, this is, they uploaded the wrong thing. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I see everybody, but that's not this movie. Yeah. Anyways. Well. Yeah, that's it. I, I just want to say this. I want to bring this part back up, though. I want to say, yeah, four deletes and one out. God damn you, Robert. <laughs> damn. Honestly. Even though he sounded like he was, he like, was so on negative it. on <laughs> it. He gave us this whole premise of a movie. And it's like he sounded very disappointed, and I was like, "I'm an out." Oh my god! Well, because I like to describe like what I was feeling. That's good. No, that's yeah. good. That's good. I just like it. you build it up to something where we're like, yeah. "Oh, he's gonna come to this boat." Yeah. No, he's on the Titanic. He's over there. <laughs> Fucking busting M Night Shyamalan plot twist. Uh, I was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> meow meow <laughs> meow meow motherfucker. <laughs> but uh, it was like a, it was just because you're a fan, no? Yeah. As a movie. I think I think it's because I built up so much in my head, the fact that like they made me go what the fuck rather than like this sucks. Right. Yeah, right. I thought it sucked right away. Well, yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh I shit. I remember when the the kid dies and it's just the kid dies. It's like, oh, uh-huh. here we go. There <laughs> <laughs> go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was October. Yes. Tune in next month for November. Yeah. Watch, I don't know what's coming out this month. What's going on this month? Do you guys know? No. Black Panther. Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Wakanda. Yes, Wakanda Forever. That, so far, that's the, that's the only one. It's the only one It's right the beginning now. of the month, fool. <laughs> yeah. Not really. Because October was actually, pretty yeah. bad. They try to give us all these Halloween movies, right? Hellraiser and the fucking... Oh, yeah. Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. Oh, um, the, the Knives Exorcist. Out Numero Dos. Oh, oh yeah. let's go. The yeah, because I think no. so far I've only seen two movies. The Sun, whatever the fuck that is. It's about the sun. Bones <laughs> and all. Yeah, I saw the... She weird said... Oh. oh, yeah. You mm-hmm. have Roku? Yeah. <laughs> it's built into my TV. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, you want to give a mini oh, review? Oh, the menu. No, that's for next month. That'd be for next month since it oh, was technically it? released in November. Oh, November. okay, okay, okay. There's yeah. some movies. All right, then we're in. We'll tune next month for that one. Please don't forget to follow us at Instagram, in out delete reviews, and our podpage.com forward slash in out delete. That's our one stop shop for everything social media related and our old episodes and so on and so on. You know, my favorite thing about the movie is like it feels like a like a movie.